Since you last joined me, we've played 15 games. Mixed results, but overall, pretty good. Domestically, we're looking strong. We actually picked up more points than we expected in Europe. And we're still in every cup. What's their complaint about? Oh, we'll get to that in a second. It's a journeyman. Welcome in. I maybe made that sound a little more dramatic than it needed to be. There's not a huge amount to complain about, but for all the decent results we had in Europe, we beat Antwerp, we drew with Shakhtar. Um, we managed to lose to Levski, it was one of the teams I expected to beat, or fancied my chances beating. And we did just lose 2-1 to Galatasaray. Again, not someone I expected to beat, but I thought we'd give it a chance. And we drew with Dundalk and our team, I was like, maybe we could beat them. So 1-1 one, one with Dundalk just recently, just the last game we played. Overall, in the league, we've been outstanding. Um, we have only drawn one game in the league since you last uh, joined us, including beating um, a, a very close game with TNS, a 1-0 win where we were down 10 men towards the end. Very tough. The rest of them, results and stuff, you know, you can have a look here. We've been pretty good overall. You'll notice that for all the games like we smash, someone will then have quite a close one. It comes down to the squad and rotation. FM23 is a simple game. Sometimes I make it look difficult, I grant you. At its core, if you can keep a team happy and you can keep a team fit and you're not asking them to play some outrageous style or play against what suits them to a huge degree, you can get good results. When you're in five competitions with a semi-professional outfit still, it gets real, real tough. Our whole back line has been rotated non-stop and that I think has led to us conceding way more than we need to. Um, where's a good example? I mean, to go from Dan Quick's been playing fullback at times, um, you've got you got other lads who are playing centre-back one minute, playing full-back the next. You've got the centre-back trio changing constantly. It's been some time since we've been able to put out what we truly say is our best team. We try and do it in games like TNS, against the likes of Galatasaray, etc. You know, the bigger games, but we've been very conscious to try and get ourselves through the games in the league because we can't slip up. TNS have not been... Look Look at TNS's results. Let's have a quick look at TNS. Just to compare our rivals. Look at this. They've actually just lost to Bala, which is a great first, and they did lose 1-0 to us. I draw a land dude, no, but other than that, you can see they've been pretty outrageously strong since the very start of the year. I mean, that's why we were behind them. We're now joint top of the table with them. I say joint top. We got a game in hand. So if we win it, we'll go top. But yeah, this is not going to be like last year where it feels like we get this settled early. I mean, even last year, we didn't sell it too early, but it felt like we did just sort of nip in and be like, okay, we beat them most times we played them. This year hasn't been like that. So they're right there with us. As we played 15 games, as you be aware, January is upon us, or is way be upon us. We're already working on bringing JJ McKiernan as the only sign we've rejected a couple of uh, transfers going out of the way. I might have to move some players on just to free up some wages to balance the books a little bit. Guys who are truly not getting game time. JJ McKiernan comes in, useful looking player, consistent, versatile, bit of flair to him. I reckon he'll do very well for us and he can play anywhere in that front and that front four we obviously um front free even we don't play center attack in midfield most likely going to utilize them on the wings just be great to get an our player in who can sort of like fit a few positions for us um him coming in does cause us some issues will be over our wage budget by 200 now sitting healthy overall balance but we can't get access to that i'm hoping when january ticks along the board will turn around and give us a bit more wages. But we'll see. Just to cover things, where are we currently in Europe? Europa League, what are we? Not Europa League, Euro Conference League. Where can we finish? We won't be competitive. 
Look at Levski, they're right up there. We thought we'd beat them. They battered us. Got that completely wrong. We're 25th. Oh, we we would need a result, huh? So as it stands, we're going out. Look how many competitions this is. I mean, it's, it's outrageous. One. I mean, if you don't count those two. Two, three, four, five. Five competitions ongoing. We're all in. Play Queen of the South today. In the Tunics. Which I will refuse to call the SPFL Trust Trophy from now on. 25th. We just need... Couple more points. Antwerp are getting. I, I thought the win over Antwerp was great, but they're actually having a terrible time. Aberdeen are there. Oh my god. Just need a couple of points in the right direction. We actually play Wolves after this, which, um. Opportunity to get points on the board. In theory, I think it's going to be a very tough game. We once again run into a real rotation problem going into this game. So Campbell continues to go. We've got Cranston at left back, Ronnie Nelson. Lennon and Folston as our centre back uh, trio. Two of them, I would have said, aren't first choice at all these days. Because Dan Quick has to move out to the right hand side to play right back. You've got Pierre Noldaker in midfield. That's a good duo to get. Whitaker, who's returning from some injuries. He's been injured off and on this season. Pritchard, very similar. He's going to, be able to play on the right hand side. Leighton Stewart continues up top. Um, he's got 19 goals. Josh Essen has 21. So they're really... The, our strikers are doing a good job. Our biggest issue has been getting Figueroa in the team this year. So important how we played last year. His pace is world-class pace. 17 and 16. Gives a lot of teams a hard time. He wants to explore options at the end of his contract. At the end of his contract, I will offer him a contract. We'll try and keep him. I'd like to keep him. I'm willing to pay him, but he will not talk to us right now. Really disappointing. Overall, not that exciting a player, but his pace gives us so many options and has helped us in really tough situations. I wish we could play a better defense than this. Um, we just can't. If I put in Wells, he doesn't. He doesn't play well with Nelson. We gotta go Folston, and I think we gotta play Lennon there as well. I might put Nelson as he's the better center, but I might put him in the middle. Oh, he doesn't like that. No, I'm gonna leave him there. Very concerned about that back three. I'm also just thinking. I think fitness, though, wise, it's a good rotation. Hopefully, Queen the South played like three days ago. Uh, I think that helped in our last round where the R team had played like not long before. We're going to need a little bit of luck in the tonics. Big game. We're actually away for this one, so we are in Scotland. Oh dear. Early chance early on. Is that Michael Roof? Of Aberdeen fame. Oh no. Ay ay ay. We're a European team. Five in the wall. He wraps it around and the keeper gets nowhere close. I am needing to hunt for a new keeper, but until we have some actual transfer budget or even wages, we can't do much. We're kind of stuck. We got money in the bank and it's none of it matters until next season, right? Pritchard coming forward with the ball. He's got support. He's looked for Leighton Stewart. Back to Pritchard. Austin. Lennon pumps it forward. Oh dear. That is a big concern. I didn't like that at all. We've just pumped the ball forward. Oh, we've not nicked the ball back. Lennon again. He lifts it forward, looking for Leighton Stewart. Easily dealt with. We don't get to the second ball. They've pumped it in behind. That should be the keepers all day long. Cranston, again, pumps it forward. They're looking for the poacher. Poacher's quite good ahead, and I found um, lots of good knockdowns from the poacher. Great ball, Leighton Stewart driving forward. One touch, two touch. It's a great finish. We're back in it. I really do enjoy Poacher this year. If, you look, if you've got someone who can head the ball, a bit of strength to them, but overall you want them to just be the guy to get on the end of stuff and score goals. Poacher's not a bad shout. Look at that. He bursts forward. Happy enough to take the touch round the def in front of the defender, then slops, slots it past the keeper. But before that, we're pumping the ball to him because he's trying to knock every ball down. And that's good if you can get players in and around him. We're not really set up to get players in and around him, but we often do. That is a great header. Key and Pritchard. 
back post, we go 2-1 up. Well, well, well. The, how the turntables. That's a reference, I'm not stupid. I swear. Fantastic goal. A little bit of pressure, they pump it forward, quick with a header, it's not a great header. As far as Grant, he does fire it straight into a defender. There we go. Quick, looks forward for Stewart, he's going to try and head that, he tries, he doesn't, but then Pierre driving from midfield, lays off to Stewart, he's going to have to pull it back, Old Dicker, Pritchard, out to Quick, he's a centre back, playing it full back, nice ball over the top, Pritchard pulls it across, oh Waker, why? Such a team effort. Put your laces through the ball. Headed away. Stuart gets it. He doesn't manage to hold on to it. He does fight for it, though. I don't know if you can hear the ice cream van. Wouldn't it be great if I... Oh, good save. Wouldn't it be great if I just... Reappeared with ice cream. Damn. Kind of was hoping that would work. It is... February. And there's the ice cream van going about. Wow. I know ice cream vans aren't seasonal, but you'd think they would be a bit more seasonal than this. It's freezing outside. I've just noticed playing for Queen of the South is Kane O'Connor. Oh, I know him from a previous life. And Max Curry, wow. We've already covered Michael Roof. Adam Frizzle as well. Or Frizzell. Right, I'm going to take Jay Folston off. He's having a shocker. Josh Wells is coming on. I think Stewart's coming off for Josh Essen as well. Quick now. Oldeker. Nelson. Good tower and header. No one goes near him. I mean, Nelson's 6 foot 5. But Curry, a good save. Kicks it long. Folston takes down beautifully. I like with 5 at the back how calm the center backs are for the most part. Oh, Leighton Stewart burst a pace. He's in there. That's a pen. That's a stonewaller, boys. I think that's Lane Stewart off, so it might be Essen. Oh, it's Pritchard going to take it. He delivers. No complaints. If he'd missed and Essen was on the field, he could have taken it with his first touch. I'd have been pretty peeved, but there we go. Just straight up the middle. No complaints. I'm going to take on Babos for Old Acre. Babos coming on as a deep line playmaker. We've gifted them on our goal. It's in from deep, and you've just got to clear your lines there. He's definitely on side here. He starts to run from deep, and you got number seven, number four. Both of them could have got to that and just got it clear. In my head, anyway. Oh, the tempo. Bit more time wasting. Just trying to see this out. Or a good win on the road. We continue to surprise in the best competition in Scotland. Or at least it was the best competition. But Air United in the next round, their championship team, that will be a real test. But that is the highest level you can face in this cup competition, so that's good. God, I feel like we would be so much better if we were a professional team. I guess that's the thing that I'm really a bit sad about is um, I'm not even sure we're going to experience this team as a professional team. If I get decent money, my temptation is, even though it's a journeyman, to stick around one more year and really load up on talented players and see what we can do. Next game we play is Wolves in the Euro Conference League. They're fourth in the table and we are 26th or 25th. It doesn't fill me with confidence. Hopefully they're aware that they're through, so they don't really care. Jesus, look at the state of the team. Um, this has kind of been the issue all season. Semi-pro, not training full-time, it just hurts your fitness more than anything else. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, some of the players we do have who are fit are all amateur contracts, which basically means they're not players who have really been playing that much at all. I'm going to try and put out a fit 11 here or, or f kind of fit i think i'm gonna put figueroa because we need his pace i mean i guess 
That works. Look at the bench. Oh, God. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. I'm going in the game because it's Wolves. We're going to go cautious as well. We're away from home. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Um, oh, I've just realized there's nobody there who can take a free kick. I think that's what we go with. Maybe someone else that I'm unaware can take a free kick. That's what we got to hope. Might be one of our best chances. Figaro needs a rest, but half the time he's not been playing for us, he's been playing international duty, and that is one big problem with him. It'd be fine if he was playing week in, week out, and not want to sign a new contract, but he's always on international duty. Oh boy, I've missed the first goal. Uh, I had to run. <laughs> I had to run the bathroom. What happened? Oh, you got to be kidding me. I can't even be bothered. This was going to be a tough game. I think we have to finish in the top 24. This is not a good start. Good work by the defender. Oh, he's... Oh, dear. I don't think playing it back to the goalie there was the right thing. Right, Brian Gill scores. This is a problem. We're going to go positive. We're going to go direct. <clears throat> Get passing space. Yep. Oh, dear. Just right there, we pass back to the goalie. A real desperation move when you're two yards from him and all he can do is kick it forward. The keeper's not even attempting to save that one. Disappointing. Oh, this goes in. You know it does. Oh, the wall did its job. Unbelievable. First time for everything. Keep it to 2-0 going in the half, please. We'll encourage the team. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, he missed, he didn't get the free kick on target, but he's not going to miss from two inches. <clears throat> Unfortunately. Aberdeen beating Dynamo Kiev. Lovely. Good save by Campbell. Takes a deflection off the defender. He's probably going to launch this forward. We actually get the ball. Hold on to it, put out Cranston. Cranston, normally a winger, playing at left back. Finds Malone. Can we get a goal here? Into Essen. It's a great goal. Lovely little finish near post. Gives us a little bit of hope. Tiny bit. Also, in an ideal world, that would add like 2 million to his asking price, which I don't think anyone will come in for. But wouldn't it be nice if suddenly Wolves were like, hey, that boy Essen. Nice. Maybe offside, but. I think we give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh dear. Kick off highlight. If this turns out to be our highlight and we nick the ball here, it'd be very exciting. Go on, Wolves. Make a mistake. Make a mistake. Oh, hello. Babos intercepts. Puts forward to Figueroa. This is very exciting. Oh, no. He has a lot to do there. Disappointing. The first touch really let him down. He is basically a speed merchant. He has to take a good first touch. It's, it's over. Half time 3 1 down. Josh Wells screaming to get out of there. I think I'll help him. He has been 
badly exposed. I wonder if he was the first goal of pen or something like that. It would be classic. We're throwing down quick. Collins out to Latomba. Opinion now, they're working the ball really well. Oh my lord. Oh no. That was quite upsetting. The way it went under the goalkeeper's arms there. Really upsetting. Because the goalkeeper's arms are kind of like, they're not even spread out. It's kind of like underneath his body and his arms, you know. Kind of goes, but like that. It's not what you want to see. Now, we do need a new goalie because Luke Campbell's already signed for a new team, but it'll be tough to find better than him, honestly. What we're going to do is we're already getting battered. We're going to try and spare our blushes by taking off some players that we're going to need. It's a tough one. We've obviously gone positive for a reason, but it hasn't, hasn't played out well for us. Anytime you have to prop or change, good save by Campbell. Anytime you have to prop or change your tactic on the fly because of the strength of the opposition, normally a bad position to be in. But I felt like we just felt like the score could be much higher than this, even by this stage. I still think they've got a couple of goals in them here. Luke Campbell just hasn't got close to any of them. Well, he made a couple of good saves, admittedly, but a lot of the goals they've scored have been pretty straightforward. Ryan whips that one in. Oh, towering header, and I think the keeper had it covered, but it hits the top of the bar and it goes out of play. We're just begging for the full-time whistle now. 4-1 is not great. It's not super embarrassing. I'd, I'd like to avoid 5-1. Oh, that's never a pen. Come on, Luke. Oh, Luke, unfortunate. Oh, all sorts of luck. wasn't meant to be today. Ugh, gets hands to it, just manages to push it on the post. Ugh, never mind then. Jesus. We've done we've done the old win one, lose one. Classic episode structure. We finished twenty seventh. Cause I think that's it. I think we only play six times, which is such a weird it's really odd. Outclassed by Wolves. I think that's our last games, right? I am correct. That's our last games in the Euro Conference League. I don't know why it's only six games. Um, sure. Get 32k for losing. It's not bad. Aiming to reach Wolves level. That would be something. Out of curiosity, what is Wolves level? They have a balance of minus 12 million. We're better than them there. The season budget started at 63 million. That would be nice. The estimated value of their club is... Just under 600 million. If you compare that to our own, 3.33 million in the back. Beautiful. Our season budget was A1K. Fantastic. Estimated value 146K. Now, pump the brake. Why would our value of our club be less than what we've actually got in the bank for said club? Think about that one. Because to me, that doesn't make any sense at all. Mm. If you're enjoying the series, do hit that like button, subscribe, comment away on the videos. It's the best way to support me without costing you anything is to like every video you watch and comment away because it really helps the algorithm. Gets us out to more people. I'm trying to hit 400 subscribers by the 14th of February. I'm not sure if we'll do it, but we're like five away now. So that'd be really cool to uh, wake up on February the 14th and uh, we've reached our goal. We'll see. Tough episode, a win and a loss, at least we're still in the tonics, out of Europe. We've just got to try and pull this squad together. With January coming up, more players probably coming in. We're going to have the split soon. I think what we'll do is I'll, 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 we'll play the games all the way up to the split. So I'll probably play the Air Scottish uh, Challenge Cup quarterfinal off stream and we got Conus Key in the Welsh League Cup semi-final and the Welsh Cup quarter-final so I will play those games oh actually that's in February so probably just get through 
to end of January-ish and we'll be back. I've been Hungerboy Finn. Till next time. Have a good one.